Chapter 7, what's next after graduating from the SMP? Huh? Hmm. What are the benefits of graduating from my SMP? Leh? Okay, uh, a quick one, uh, Subhati. One, when afflictions arise in the desire realm, the Samatha graduate can seek refuge in the form realm to subdue them, analogous to using a stone to press down grass. You can walk away from the eight sufferings of Kamadhatu. You know, in Kama Tattu, you've got many sufferings. Nah. Buddha said got eight sufferings. Nah. Uh, Apie, Samba, Rogo, uh, and uh, Piehi, Samba, Yoga, and all these things. Uh, the people you love, you after you separate with your loved one, you feel suffering, you feel disappointed. Uh. Uh, the people you hate, you meet together, then you, you, you also suffering. So uh, if you manage to graduate SMP, uh, you can seek refuge in your jhana. You can walk away from the tamatatu sufferings. Uh, why are you always suffering? Uh? You always think of the bad memory. Uh? Because you don't you 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 always in the karma loka uh, mental process, ma. You always run that same pattern, ma. So now you if you come out to the Rupa Loka, then you say bye bye to not bye bye, lah, just temporarily say bye bye to the Kama Loka suffering. Lah, huh? Okay, this is one of the benefits. Then second. Two, you will attain the right mindfulness of the eightfold path and are already on the liberative path to Nibbana. Right mindfulness. Lah. It's actually the right sama, the right concentration. Sorry. Okay, right. Okay, three. Three, with your mind constantly tuned to the four Janic levels of form realm, the ha habit of entering Samadhi, on the verge of death, you can align your death mind, Chuti Chitta, with that of Rupa Datu Samadhi and gain rebirth in the four heavens of Rupa Datu. In the fourth Dhyana heavens are five pure abodes, Sudha Vasa, where the sagely Anagamins reside. So what are the benefits uh, if you have graduated from SMP when you have all these kind of jhana uh, skills? At, uh, on the verge of death, uh, you no need panic. On the verge of death, okay, you tune your mind, you go into the jhana mental process. Uh, okay? Then at the death mind, uh, chuti chitta. Actually, uh, Bahasa Chuti, Chuti is dying, you know, in, in, in the Pali and the Sanskrit word. Chuti is actually die. So Chuti Chuti Malaysia is actually going to die. <laughs> okay. So Chuti Chitta, as the Chuti Chitta, you tune the Chuti Chitta to the jhana mental process. Uh, then after after the, the, the Javana, you know, the, the jhana, 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 one, jhana, 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 and then it will lapse into the Bawanga, right? So instead of lap, laps, lapsing into the Bawanga, it will lapse it with, it at the Chuti Chitta, you know? Then the Chuti Chitta lapse with the jhana energy, uh, then you will get a rebirth in the four Rupa Loka heavens. Ah, okay. You you go to the uh, Rupa Loka heavens, uh, and at the fourth Dhyana heavens, there are the five pure abodes. Uh, uh, this is very common. Shurangama also say so. Shuddha Vasha. Then uh, all the Anagamins uh, they are there. Uh, you can find them uh, Become your friend uh, Okay, and you all cultivate, cultivate, and then eventually become arahat there, uh, Okay. So this is one of the benefits. Number four. Number four, if you seek liberation from cyclic existence in this lifetime, you can start cultivating vipassana meditation. Upon realizing the truth of all phenomena through vipassana contemplation, you will develop wisdoms, attain fruition, untie the entangled knots of birth and death, bid goodbye to the cycle of rebirth, and return to the ultimate blissful home of Nivarna. Ah, this is always our ultimate destiny for the Buddhists, okay? So what is the good point of a graduating from SMP? Then you can start cultivating your Vipassana program, okay? Your Vipassana, and then develop your wisdom, enlightenment, and your fruition, okay? Then if you can uh, achieve your fruition, then you can entangle the samsaric knots. Uh, you spend, you say goodbye, uh, samsara, bye bye la, I, I no more come back la, okay? Then you go to Nirvana, lo, okay? Enjoy Nirvana, please. Uh. Number five. Five, if you seek supernatural powers, you can continue with Samatha practice to master Kasina meditation as well. Once into Abhinya Apana, you will be able to make use of supernatural powers. 
Ah, uh, somebody don't want to go to Nirvana. They want to develop supernatural spiritual power. Also can. Then you continue Jana five, six, seven, eight, and your Kasina and all these uh, interchanging skills until you can develop the Abhinya Pana Viti. Then you will, you will, you can manifest supernatural power. Also can. Also can. Number six. Six. If you have accomplished fruition through vipassana practice. You can continue to practice Samatha meditation until the ninth dhyana level of Samya Vidita Niroda Samapati, Hetu Vidya, a place for temporary rest of mind and body, Maha Nidana Dhyana Sutta, the eighth liberation factor. Okay. Or you want to have a taste of the ninth dhyana, the ninth dhyana, Niroda Samap Samapati. Also can. Then you after you have complete complete your vipassana practice. You come back to the shamatha, then develop ah uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine jhana. Also can, also can. So the the four jhana SMP graduation cert uh, is the what you call a uh, um what you call a uh, uh, we say passport. Passport. <laughs> Yes, it's the passport for you to go all these countries, you know. Uh, you want to you want to develop spiritual power or, or deve uh, vipassana, go to nirvana or or develop your nine niroda samadhi or go to heaven get rebirth. Huh? your passport is the SMP, the four jana SMP. Oh, uh, so without that, you you cannot go anywhere. Huh? Mm. Or you are qualified. Mm. You are qualified to cultivate esoteric Buddhism. To achieve oneness in the three mysteries of mind, body, and speech, so as to attain Buddhahood in this lifetime. Ah, then only you are fit, qualified to start Vajrayana practice. Ah, okay, to get the oneness uh, of the three mysteries. Lah. Okay, there are four roads for you to choose if you have graduated from SMP. First road, practice. Practice Vipassana meditation to return to Nirvana, home. Mm, this is uh, uh, the one road you can choose after your graduation of SMP or second, second road. Practice supernatural powers to roam in the three realms. Okay, you can practice supernatural power. Okay. Practice esoteric Buddhism to benefit self and others. To take rebirth in the heavens. Okay, after you have chosen any of these uh, four uh, road, roads, you can U turn Pale, you know? Can you turn one? Never mind. Let's say you have chosen this path, uh, uh, Vipassana, uh, go uh, towards the Nirvana home. And then suddenly you say, Aya, uh, Nirvana, one more step, I don't want to enter. La. I want to come back here, Ken. Can then you you take this road lah? Then you 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 the the the, the cut off road and then and then and then jump to this road lah. And this is called what? turn away from small and tend towards the great lah. From Vinaya uh, Hinayana change to Mahayana lah. From uh Hinayana change to Mahayana. Take this road lah. Or from here can also you turn to here. This is called return to the Saha world to liberate the sentient beings. Then you are Bodhisattva lah. Return to the Sahawo. Or from here, jump to here, they enjoy the supernatural development of the supernatural power. Lo. And here also, if you have chosen here, then you also can come here back. Okay, you practice, practice, Vajrayana, self benefit, benefit. And then I say, Aya, enough, la. I want to enter Nirvana. La. Can la. Then you pata pale here, enter into Mahapari Nirvana. Run this road, can. Uh. Uh, or from here, at first you, you have chosen a supernatural power and then it's, I, I'm very tiring already. I don't want to show natural power. La. So tiring. I want to go to Nirvana. Can. Then you hear Pata Palette here to this road. Uh, to Nirvana. So it's very free. One Buddhism is one stop for all. One stop for all. That's why you call one Buddhism. Vatera, uh, Vada, Mahayana, Vajrayana, or in. Uh, depends on you what way to want to go. After graduating, uh, is there any worry? Mm. No, oh, no, the fourth jhana of form realm or rupa datu is like using a stone to press on the grass. It only develops samadhi stillness, but not the wisdom to cut off the afflictive knots of rebirth. 
Okay, so it's not enough. Uh, we just FMP it. Uh, four jhana is just good enough to press use the so to press the grass. It have not un uprooted the 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 samsaric uh, roots. Uh. Once out of samadhi, your mind will return to the desire realm or kamadhatu. Therefore, if you do not constantly strengthen your samadhi power, it will weaken. The desires of kamadhatu, such as cravings for food, sex and sleep, will resurface once again. Hence, you need to strengthen your samadhi power. Okay, so if you, you are not in the jhana, the rupa loka jhana, then technically you are in kama loka. Okay? Uh, so the desire will come back if you come up from your samadhi. According to the... According to the Shrangama Sutra, sentient beings dwell on the four types of food which are all available in Kama Datu. So how can we remain in the fourth jhana of Rupa Datu? The answer, let Samadhi, bliss and Dharma, joy, be your food. Most importantly, let bliss, joy and single-mindedness be the food to sustain your life force. According to Volume 35, Annotations to the Shurangama Sutra, although we are moving about as if out of Samadhi, we still reside in it. Suffice to know that it is absolutely free from thoughts of women and others, including sleep and the three illusory desires. With the onslaught of hunger and fatigue, one immediately enters Samadhi. Once out of Samadhi, one feels full and energetic again. When one lives and breathes on Samadhi bliss, one's body and mind will not feel so heavy. If you can sustain your Rupa Datu Samadhi in this way, although you are still in the Kama Datu, your body has transformed and you reside in the Rupa Datu. So, uh, when in, in Rupa Datu, uh, no need die, go one. This very, very body also can go to Rupa Datu. You can change your body and mind physically and mentally to a Rupa Datu body and to a rupa tattoo mind okay so if you if you change like that huh, you go into samadhi you come out huh, you don't need eat so much also you feel like very energetic very very you know and many uh very energetic because you got the food that's why you call the the food of uh, dharma bliss ma. Chan yue wei shi ma. it's really it's really like that so the yogis uh, they get the energy uh, from the the samadhi you know that's why some yogis are uh, they can one month, one year don't eat uh, or a few months don't eat. Also, they never die one. Why? Uh? Because they got they get the food, they get the energy from the from the samadhi bliss, the pity, the sukha, and all these things. Uh, uh, that's why there's no strange things. All these are very scientific and logical. If you know the theory, lah. Okay. Next. Oh. So if you frequently enter the fourth jhana or form realm, you will be constantly full of energy, reducing the need for physical food. This proves that your energy has come from samadhi cultivation and not from eating food attributable, attributable to the four elements. This is not forced fasting. This energy is naturally developed along with the samadhi gain, not replenished by food. Mm. So this is uh, the, uh, one of the benefits. La. Your body will always stay fit. La. Uh, always energetic la, with good energy. La. In addition, in addition, your body and behavior will correspond with the Rupa Datu Samadhi and you are able to sustain your Samadhi mind with upholding precepts, the light of joy, the bliss of purity and the making of offerings to cultivate blessings so as to sustain both your body and mind. You know, uh, if you are in Kama Loka, every time the next morning you wake up very tired, always very tired. Why? Because your mind has gone to the seven Javana ma, in the Pancha Dwar or Mana Dwar, always the Javana run here, run there, run here, run there, run here, run there. So it's so tiring. All the energy are wasted in the Javana, the Kama Loka Javana. So in, if you are in the Jhana, the Jhana, then your mind got replenished, you know, re energy replenished, you know. So every time your mind and your body uh, are always full of energy. Mm. This is the difference. Uh. That's why you see those with Jhana, uh, they are very glossy one. Very glossy, very powerful, you know. Ah, these are the good things of uh, cultivating your Shamatha. If you don't Kamatha, Every day no power la. Every day very tiring la. Cannot sleep la. Insomnia la. All these things will come out la. Uh, depression la. Because you spend your energy in the Javana ma. 
Okay, so if you manage into the Rupa Loka Samadhi, you will sustain your Samadhi mind with upholding precepts. This is the first jhana. Second jhana, sustain your Samadhi with light of joy. If it is in the third jhana, bliss of purity. If, it is, if you are in the fourth jhana, you sustain your fourth jhana Samadhi with making offerings, uh, uh, donations, voluntary servicing. The more you do voluntary service, the more you energetic. Got such people, God, many. The more you do voluntary service, the more happy you are, the more energy you feel, you know. This is also a type of food, you know. This is also a type of food. Hmm. Uh. So, uh, the Shurangama says, uh, first jhana, uh, these are the names of the jhana. Uh, first jhana got three heavens name, uh, okay. So, first jhana, uh, it is supported by the precept, you know, because they, you, you have overcome the desire. Uh, so, they will always think of, be mindful of the precept, you know. Always mindful of the precept. They use the precept uh, to maintain their first jhana level. So when you are in the second jhana, second jhana is named after light. Ma. This light is actually the rapture, you know, the pity, you know. And why second jhana got three heavens? Uh, just now this morning, uh, uh, Aimee has asked about the pity. Uh, because uh, in the second jhana, uh, sec first heaven of second jhana, second heaven of second jhana, third heaven of uh, second jhana, uh, they are differentiated by what? By the level, the intensity of the rapture, the, the, the PT. Lesser light, lesser, lesser rapture, for, uh, heaven of lesser light, first heaven of second jhana. Boundless, boundless, oh, everywhere, the whole body feel like very joyful, very joyful, very joyful. Then second heaven of second jhana. Okay. Extreme joy, wow, very joyful. Wow, you see, John, you get all these things. I mean, go go, uh, ecstasy, come on, wow, very joyful. Ah, uh. then, ah, uh, third heaven of second jhana, no? Okay, so the second jhana, ah, uh, the they are uh, what you call the energy get from it, get from the the rapture, the joy, the pity. Okay, and the intensity of the uh, joy will determine how strong is your light. That's why the jhana people they got light, one, you know, they got light. Okay, the jhana are uh, purity of the form, you know. Uh, less purity, boundless purity is the second heaven, and uh, top uh, purity is the third heaven of the jhana. So the jhana is from the bliss, the sukha, the happiness, the satisfaction, uh, jhana factor. So they get the energy uh, from the bliss, the sukha, uh, the sukha there. The more the sukha you are, this one are very happy, very happy one. Uh, then you are in the third jhana. No? And fourth jhana, how? Fourth jhana is let go everything, you know. Let go vitaka, vichara, let go piti, let go sukha, no. Let go the bliss, let go the rapture. And then only left with the ekagata, so remember. So fourth jhana, he always like to let go things, you know. Let go, let go, let go, let go. So letting go things, uh, renouncing things, uh, is where he gets his source of energy, you know. So when you're in the fourth jhana, you always like to let go things, you know. Let go things, la, donate things. La. We call pay chin. Uh. In karma tattoo, uh, you always chang chin. Uh. Oh, in the karma tattoo, you always want money. Give me money, give me money. Give me strike the toto. Give me gana the, the lottery. This is your in karma loka. But in fourth jhana, oh, yo, give you money, I give you money, I give you a gift, give, give, give. They get the energy from giving. Okay? That's why, yeah. Uh, Creation of blessing. The first heaven of fourth jhana is, is named as heaven of creation of blessing. Why creation of blessing? Because you're always donating things, ma. always giving out your properties, ma. then you're creating blessing. Ma. Correct? Then second heaven, if you give more, give more, you cherish the opportunity of giving. So if you're in fourth jhana, we got dana, we got maha sangha, sankika, you first register one. You you fight the first choice, uh, first opportunity. But if you come out loka, pin do yao chin the jiao hui pai do yi xin. The other way round, you know. Uh, the other way round, and then you got fruit of abundant fruit. Ah, uh, you do a lot of uh, 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 renouncing. Ah, uh, and then eventually it will yield you the the fruit of the blessing lah. So abundant fruit lor, guang guo tian lor, and then heaven of no thought lor. Or all re have renounced already. Renounce, renounce until very still. This is the fourth heaven of the four jana. Drop our knees Go here, come